Hey there, Griff Hamlin here. Welcome and thanks for joining me. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite seventh chord voicings, a uh, very popular voicing, but one that surprisingly I don't see as often. So if we're playing, let's say in an A blues, right? And you might be playing, you know, in an open position, A7, or open position, A7. And you might be familiar with a C, an open C chord. And if you add your pinky to the third string at the third fret, you get what's called a C7. You may or may not already be familiar with this, but that's a C7 chord. Well, one of the things you might not know is that you can move this chord. But in order to do that, you have to be very careful. The top string and the bottom string can't sound. But if you do it right, and what's so what I've got going on is my either my my index finger or sorry my my ring finger my third finger is kind of lightly touching the sixth string right here, or my thumb kind of re re reaches around. My first finger is actually kind of leaning against that first string, so the the inside of my first finger you really can't see in there, but it's it's touching that first string. great with, you know, any other type of bar chord or open position chord that you might be playing. Um, you know, the lowest one you can get is a C. You can kind of get a B, but you sort of run out of frets. And while it's not a, a super fancy grip and it's not a super fancy chord, it's just a really cool sound and it's a little bit less common. You know, a lot of people I think know the, you know, the more traditional bar chord, seventh chord or bar chord, seventh chord like this. That chord is a, is a different voicing. The, the notes are in a different order. Instead of root, fifth, flat, seventh, third, they go root, third, flat, seventh, root. So it's it's just a little bit of a different voicing, and it's just got a cool sound. And so, you know, you might have heard it. You might have been listening to something, and you heard it, and you kind of went, oh, it's a cool sounding chord, but it doesn't sound exactly like the one I play. It might be that slightly different voicing. So play around with it. Have some fun with it. Hope you dug that, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.